Well, I'm cutting our second little piece of winter wheat. And I got a caution in a stop red light. Come on, that said extreme auger slippage. This is what we got. She's packed full. I don't know if I was going too fast. I barely started. I must have been going too fast. Look, that's all I got is maybe 50 yards. So maybe I gotta go slower. Maybe it's too thick. But looks like I'm gonna be pulling this stuff out of here first before we get anything else done. <laughs> oh, it is pretty thick stuff though, I will say. I pretty much got most of it, but looks like this is where it started. Looks like I'm gonna have to go quite a bit slower. Dang. Well, now we know you only learn by making mistakes, right? <clears throat> At least nothing broke. Sometimes when it gets clogged up like this, it'll break these little, well, I'll just show you guys. There's some belts on the auger that keep the, keep the auger spinning. And um, if it clogs up, sometimes those belts snap. And it's not that big of a deal to replace those belts, but it does take a little time. So I'm glad those didn't break. Well, I was wrong. I thought that other side was where it started getting clogged, but I think it's actually this side. You can see the winter wheat is just twisted on around the auger. So that kind of clogged it up. So it's on there pretty good. Ugh. I'm gonna have to get a little pry bar and start prying all this stuff out. So I think I'm gonna kick up the RPMs. I think I'll kick up the RPMs and go a little bit slower. Seems like I tend to get myself in trouble going too fast. So I'll just slow things down and that should be a little better. I got most of the stuff out, so we'll try this again. See how it goes. Looks to be rolling. I think we're good. I think we got her. That's good. Yes, sir, I think we're good to go. We decided we were gonna come and cut all this because, well, this weekend it's supposed to get really warm and pretty toasty. And I think that's, my dad thought that that would just make this weed turn real quick um, and we don't want it to get too dry. So that's why we decided to come in and cut it today. Also this time of year, it's pretty common we get some bad hailstorms. Um, even yesterday, Jock and I were up fixing some fence. We got hailed on. Maybe I'll put that a little video in here of that. Um, I wasn't videoing yesterday, but I got a little clip. It's kind of fun. Nothing like fixing fence in the summer. <laughs> yeah. this time of the year, July, August, you can count on some hailstorms coming in. So we decided we're going to cut this, get it down on the ground before the hail comes and knocks it all over and destroys our crop anyways. Then we'd be just out of luck. So we're going to get after it to try and get all this winter wheat done. I don't know how many acres of winter wheat we planted in total. I'd say probably, well, 40, maybe 20. Maybe 120, 160 acres of winter wheat. So I should be able to cut that in a couple of days. We should be able to get that done. Yep, 
It's so crazy what a difference a year can make uh, just with moisture wise. I know this this little field last year, we maybe got one bale off it and I can already tell, you know, it's gonna be 50 yards with these thick windrows and we're gonna have bales. I don't even know if we'll be able to rake two together. It's so thick. Which is just nuts. It just goes to show how much of a difference it can make in one year. We did put a little bit of um, nitrogen on all these winter wheat fields. We planted this winter wheat back in the fall and then it goes dormant over the winter and then in the spring it starts growing. So we planted it last fall. I can't remember when we put nitrogen on. I think it was last fall or early this spring. I can't, I can't remember honestly, but we did put some nitrogen on and man, it looks good. This is gonna be a huge blessing. Well, we got this field done. Move on to the next one. Um, this winter wheat looks really good. It's kind of crazy how tall it got. It's easily up to mid chest, so it's got to be four, four feet high probably. Um, this winter wheat, it's it's a variety that is for forage. Um, it's called Willow Creek winter wheat. So that's the reason it got so much taller than maybe normal winter wheat would. Um, so we we planted that seed with the intent that we're gonna bale this up and use it as feed for our cows. If we were gonna be using it for seed or just combining it, I don't know if we would have used this variety of winter wheat. We probably would have used something different. But this stuff looks really good and it's gonna be some great feed with when we mix it up with some alfalfa bales, with some corn it'll be perfect so really excited to get this cut up it looks really really nice i'll get out and show you guys a little bit here pretty soon so yeah look how thick these windrows are i don't think we're going to be able to put two together and bail them i think it's going to be too thick but this wheat looks pretty good up to my chest. Well, I started a fire. I'm gonna call it in. Well, I grabbed a shovel and was in batting it out, but it wasn't going out very well. It's, it's roaring now. I decided to just come start cutting the hay around it. And that way maybe it'll slow it down a bit. I didn't know what else to do, I guess, but. Tamaris nice house is right here getting built. The guys that were working on it came over to help. So there's a couple other guys. Hello. Yeah, I, I started a fire, so. <laughs> yeah, you might wanna come. I got, I'm cutting all the hay around it. I called 911, so. Okay, sounds good. Bye. Sounds like Jack's gonna come over too. I think this will slow it down, cutting around it. That's gonna help a lot. It's already slowing down. Dang, I'm sweating like a son of a gun. So I'm sure I just struck a rock when I was cutting. Their flames are kicking up. And it just was able to start a little fire. And it just smoldered. I turned around to come make another loop and it had kicked up quite a bit. I 
I'm just, I really don't want it to get to the house. My wife wouldn't be very happy. All we need is some water and we dive it out quick. Once I get some of this hay cut, I might go hook up the well and try and spray it out or something. go. Oh. What do you think about that, Jack? Pretty warm, huh? Yeah. Summertime, I guess. Jeez. Everything's dry. Could have been a lot worse. Oh, yeah. Got half the county here now. Huh? Half the county is here. <laughs> Jeez. That's good, though. At least you know you've got neighbors yeah. that care. Yeah, seriously. I just, I was way over by the interstate and I saw the smoke. You saw the smoke? Yeah. Yeah, it just started right here. I went to turn around and I saw it. I was like, oh, geez. Too late. Ran over, just started cutting around it. I didn't know what yeah. to do. Oh, well, you did the, the best thing, I think. Yeah, it got in the field and it started going really fast. So I was oh, like, yeah. I think I'm just gonna Especially with wind like this? Yeah, it was really windy for a minute, too. Oh, well, you did good. You got in the hole. Yeah. I think you saved it. Because it would have maybe. ran away, for sure. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Stopped it with these windrows. Yeah. The bundles. Yeah. Crazy dude. Exciting. I was worried to get over to the house too. <laughs> I was like, Damaris isn't gonna be very happy. Your house is just about done, now you wanna burn it. <laughs> Start back over. <laughs> the heart pumping. Yep. Cornfield <clears throat> start on fire. Cornfield started on fire? Yeah. So on the head it, it melted some plastic. Yeah. And it just dripped, you know, it started a couple spots. Oh yeah. I think we burned like 200 acres probably. Yikes. Yeah. There was 20 fire trucks and so we were running with pickups. Yeah, luckily we only got half acre acre burns up here, but yeah. oh, I was even it been worse. like one of these pickups. I was on the back of it with the hose. Really just yeah, because they ran out of guys. You know, there's yeah. people all over. I'm like, oh, I'll grab a hose. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I was a fireman. The other day. Yeah. It's fun, fun. Yeah. Yeah. That was rough. Pretty much got her all out. Well, I'd say it is out. Well, everyone's gone. I didn't do too much damage. Only started maybe half an acre, three quarters of an acre on fire. Lost some hay, maybe a couple bales worth. I showed you guys earlier how the windrower sometimes gets clogged up in those corners. And that's how I had to unclog it earlier. 
but it looked like there was some stuff back in there again i don't know if it just got in there and was spinning around that auger and got hot and maybe dropped some hot stuff and started the fire or i chipped a rock not really sure it was really windy when the fire started now it is uh now it's calmed down again so got the heart racing but i'm glad it wasn't worse than it was i'm gonna bring the wind over over to the well <clears throat> and just spray some water in the header clean it all out just make sure there's no sparks nothing no little embers smoldering in there i don't want to do that again or burn the whole thing up so I'm just gonna go do that just to play it safe. Well, it got a little wet, but that cool down felt pretty good after that fire, not gonna lie. I'll probably get in here with a little screwdriver or something and just clean all this mud out I don't I don't know I just want to play it safe and get all that crap out of there well guys I'm gonna get this baby all cleaned out and maybe I'll cut some more hay today maybe not we'll see what time it gets to be but exciting day I don't need we don't need too many exciting days uh like that um but thank you guys for coming along i do really appreciate it um i'm glad that fire wasn't worse i'm glad we didn't burn up a whole bunch of hay burn up this whole field burn up damaris nice house huge blessing but uh huge thanks to all the firefighters that came out a couple neighbors who were in the area who jumped in and helped really appreciate it guys you know we will return the favor if that ever happens so thank you everyone hope you enjoyed the video um, hope you enjoyed viewing our, what would you call it, mishaps, our hard luck. <laughs> anyway, have a good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.